itty bitties have you read anything about critical legal critical legal studies critical race theory or theory of uh, libertarianism i know a little bit about the critical race theory and stuff like that um what they're trying to do look my whole thing is anything being shoved down humanity's throat through centralized power is poison all right really right so when the centralized state comes into our lives and shoves it right gives it to you hard and says swallow the damn thing right and if you don't swallow it we're gonna f you up that's poison usually right so i totally disagree with the way things are being rolled out about history right because history is full of atrocities but they're tr what they're trying to do is build division between human beings by saying this is what mattered it's not this it's this it's the color of the skin that mattered how about we go a little bit deeper than that the color of the skin was there's no doubt there is uh, systemic racism in certain institutions that's proven in history there's no denying that right but what was the driving force behind that it was the economics aspects of things right if there was no profits to be made do people actually think that a lot of these things would have happened hell no right in terms of economics anyway there are some psychopaths out there some of the people in power right now that thrive on other things than fiat currency right just look into the what we talked about earlier which is the residential schools right mass graves of children hundreds of children being found right there is something dark within centralized power institutions so before we go around pointing a finger at other human beings in our neighborhoods in our communities and saying you're bad because the color of your skin how about we do a little critical thought and go deal with the institutions deal with the powers that have been in play for decades for centuries and take care of them before we chase the carrot that they're dangling in front of us